Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Malcolm. It's time for episode 9 of season 3 of Young Justice. Last we saw, we got the best episode of the season, possibly, uh, when we found out that Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Calder, and uh, Nightwing had apparently all been working together the entire time. This is a, a kind of a, a tearing out of the lights playbook. But Wonder Woman questioned whether or not these kids, who aren't really kids anymore, are going to be willing to do what's necessary if they get caught. Most of you seem to think yes, I think yes. What's the problem? Let's get to it. Each of which requires delicate handling. Woo! I have the light, let's go! I proceed. What? <laughs> you said most of them are still the same. Hey! So Deathstroke, uh, the Queen Bee. Toy for cock, Lobo. Which boy? What do you guys think of this intro? I'm, I'm a fan. I watch it every time. It's just dark. It's creepy. I love it. Come on, Dad. Stay whelmed. Don't call him Dad. Oh, yeah, right. That is Spoilers. creepy. Yeah. Sorry, Grandma. And don't call me Grandma. Getting back to the metahuman delinquent center in just a moment. But first. Allow me to introduce our guest, founder of Good World Studios, Gretchen Good, or as she's more popularly known, Granny Goodness. Gretchen's just fine, G. Gordon. Okay, That's hilarious. Granny. Hey, your Godfrey good and your fucking Granny. Are on of meta trafficking. We've made donations to the new Meta Human Youth Center in Taos and other similar charities. This is something that Bruce Wayne and I both believe in passionately. Our children are our future. Oh, excuse me. Wonder what he's hiding. <laughs> now, as for this boondoggle of a youth center. That's gotta be an act between Godfrey and fucking Rain, right? Understand how you can listen Does Bruce know anything about what's going on? Does he know what Granny's goodness is? I doubt it. But he's kind of fascinating. But he's Besides, bad. you can't live in a transparent living arrangement. What's the deal with you and Artemis? What? Deal? No deal. There's no deal. I mean, I'm grateful for her help with Leon, but don't get the wrong idea. Really? You're both single, living in the same house. But sorry, I shouldn't make assumptions. At all. Yeah. It's creepy. No. Please don't. Don't disgusting. She has. No, Hello, everybody Dr. is Jace. awkward. Forager means Dr. Jace. Dr. Jace. Forager is Forager. Hello, Forager. Mm. Humans can be very slow of study. Gabrielle. Forager is fantastic. So good. I'm told we must be patient. Woo! <laughs> Force, get down! What? What's going on? Is that dick? Wait. Alright. Fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Halo, Forager. You both get A grades for reflexive action, evaluation, and adaptability. <laughs> Geoforce, you get an F in all categories. Greetings, children <laughs> and fellow parents. Surprise attack proves nothing. Uh, in your case, it proves you need to train for surprise attack. <laughs> that was perfect. I'm not sure how they got that low. This Kill this bug. Aww. The rest of you can go. Not gonna happen. Fine. You had your chance. Indeed. Hey, we can lower him? Can we? Keezy Kryptonian thinks he can frag the man. There you go. There you go. Oh, there you go. Get you some. Halo, fly Forger out of here. Of course. Oh, Artemis. Shit. Stay dying. Lois, I'm so glad you and 
Jonathan could make it. Oh, we wouldn't miss it. It's the one. We're gonna be on the Super Bowl too. People who truly understand what our lives, what. Any of you read Super Sons with uh, him and Damian Wayne? Our numbers are growing. I love Jonathan Kent. Full... Oh shit! I am impressed. Look at all you've accomplished. You discovered where the parents and children came together for their playdate. You leased the house across the street. Set up wiretaps, cameras, microphones, infrared. You've truly mastered the surface world. These are useful skills, worthy of the shadows, not to be wasted. I am glad you approve, Lady Shiva. Woo! Now not be denied my revenge. <sighs> That's what the light assumed. That's why I'm here. Dad, slow down! Don't call him Dad! Come on, you dummy Earther! A vain man's gonna frag all you in the bed! So this is bad. Woo! How many of these cheesy bugs are there? <laughs> these bastards is a fake. You're behind this. Damn! How was she that? Man, man's got a. <laughs> <laughs> So she's dust. Oh. Ha! Gotcha! Monitor! No! Ah! Oh. Tell me that's a no. Fucking egg or something. Gone? You're alive! You're dead! Or they're just not liking to be naked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I can't. You're too Gucci. I don't care how Gucci you are, but you are indeed quite Gucci. Bones <laughs> <laughs> in Forager's hive. Feelings mutual, kid. We always take care of our own. <laughs> The central city job is done. Other options on that front. But after Markovia, and after the communique from Raish al Ghul, the light required confirmation of all we suspected. It's no end of trouble. No worries, my friends. A plan is in place. We'll deal with these naughty children in our own good time. <laughs> what? All right, that was episode nine of Young Justice. Where to begin? Um, we'll start with Shiva killing Ocean Master. Just when I think fucking Young Justice can't go completely out of left field, they come completely out of left field. They reintroduce Ocean Master, who, if I remember correctly, was in uh those early. Aquaman, Aqualad tales, right? I'm trying to think. I think he was. Season 1, where fucking Calder goes back to Atlantis. By the way, he gets reintroduced after Wild War for the first time ever. He has this great plan to take out all these fucking metahumans as children. And then he, they get, he gets killed by Shiva. What? I'm with the shits. Uh, Shiva is a new enforcer for the light. Raish, though not in the light anymore, and not the leader of the League of Shadows, maybe, if he's telling the truth, um, does have a communication with them and inform them of what was going on. Um, if Shiva is the enforcer for the light, one has to assume. That Deathstroke is the leader of the League of Shadows, right? Hmm. 
Or maybe she was the enforcer and the, I don't know. Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, Shiva is the most prominent member of League of Shadows, uh, besides Raish and Talia. So I just have to imagine. Nah, fuck it. It's not important. I'm not probably overthinking it. It's probably not that serious. Um, the fight with Lobo, as you know, as most of you know, was never going to go well. You were never going to win. Whenever he shows up, you're fighting fucking Psychotic Superman. This is not going to go proper. And uh, it didn't, but luckily Forager, one of my favorite characters, not just one of my new favorite characters, one of my favorite characters, um, had a pretty decent plan to get themselves out of trouble. But as per the light is one step ahead, Granny Goodness showing up, having an argument with uh, Godfrey. I have to leave that argument at stage. We know Godfrey is Godfrey from Apocalypse. They show that at the end of last season. Um, and they already show that Granny Goodness is evil. So I got to believe that the two of them were working together. How much does Bruce know? If Wayne is working with Granny Goodness, he's got to know something, right? He's bats. <sighs> anyway, I think that's it. I like that episode. I like that episode. Anyway, uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.